All right, gamers, welcome. This game, we're going to be trying out Ash on patch 14.19. To start off, I'm going to test one of the builds that is going around Challenger right now, which is going to be Static Shiv into Kraken Slayer. Sounds like it could be quite good on Ash, and so we don't really need to maximize her damage, so... Going for two items with no crit. Doesn't really seem all that bad on her. And Static Shift should be a pretty good pro spike. For some reason, we're laning against Zara ADC. Wasn't sure if that's what it was going to be, but it is indeed. For runes, we're going to be testing also the Lethal Tempo. Fuck, it's focusing me while I'm in the brush. Yeah, we're going to be testing Lethal Tempo as well as the new cookies. Although I'm pretty sure the new cookies are actually just very, very strong in ADC at the moment. Probably on most picks. Well, it's not like they're OP, right? They're just a pretty solid rune. May eventually get nerfed, may not. I do not know. Oh, that cost me two lost sets. Well, one lost set. Okay, we're gonna go place a ward. Uh, actually, we don't really need a ward there. Maybe a ward up here could be nice. Okay, we just barely managed to avoid losing XP there. I'm gonna put a point in the W to find it worth putting a point in E here. I probably could have done a point in E at level 2 actually, and just even if I'm not gonna use it immediately, at least start charging it up. Because this is not really a matchup where we're gonna be getting all in or wanting to start a fight either. Man, this uh, is already as obnoxious. Like, I'm not losing much HP, but it's a very obnoxious playstyle because I know I can't all in her, and then in the meantime, she just keeps going for these goddamn pot shots. Maybe I can try an all in her soon. Nah, I definitely need to focus on thinning out this way first before I can consider it. Her wave clear is better than mine though, so it might not be possible. Oh crap, let me use her support item. I'm gonna concentrate for this. Nice. That was a really close one. Not happening. It's fine, I got two cookies to try and get my HP back. Zara also lost a lot of HP there. The chef cookies? No. Does have one more potion? No. It's also worth noting that Zara has TP, not the uh, combat summoner. Well, she just missed her main thing that she needs to fight me for E. Oh, what the hell am I slowed by? Must have been Sona. Ah, god damn it. I wanted to try and kill her because she has TP and I don't. So if we fight and she gets away with low HP and then she just walks back, um, you know, walks away, recalls and TP's back, then she has the advantage from that. So I wanted the all in to actually kill her. But uh, yeah, I think I must have been slowed by Sona E power cord. Well played to her for being smart enough to use that. I did not even consider she could do that. Let's see. Yep, I got slowed by that. Ah, if I'd realized that, then I just wouldn't have flashed. I'm not used to Sona's using that. Pretty much, they pretty much just always use power cord, the uh, Q power cord. Oh man, that is tragic though. That's really sad. Holy shit, Sona got four kills. What the hell? What the hell happened there? I mean, I know what happened there, but I just can't believe it. An ally has 
Oh crap. I hadn't seen him, my bad. Just run away in army. Still focused on my fucking inventory. My bad. Well, we're certainly not off to a good start in the lane. Probably have to give up all hope of winning the lane at this point. Because I think the matchup is only going to become harder once Zara hits level 6, uh, has some more items, so our plants actually do DPS. And Sun also massively skills well with levels. So, we've pretty much already fallen off. Sad. Oh, I'll ignore the CS. Maybe we can get into a good fight here. Nice. Oh, man. That is so sad that he just gets away. Maybe we can Zyra? Oh, man. It's not our day, is it? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, what? Dude, I could not attack there. I wonder if that was uh, Mobilitics' fault. This is the first day I use it. Hmm. I don't have anything to base for, really, so... I'm gonna stay even though I can't really pressure the turret. Kind of annoying that my W doesn't do full damage to the minions. It means I need two autos regardless of whether I use... Not to the minions, to the plants. I need to do two autos to kill them regardless of whether I use my W or not. In which case, no point using W on them. Where's Sona? I know my support is roaming. Is that enemy support roaming too, or what? Hopefully Sona is actually just somewhere in the lane. Because I don't think they should be able to punish me, so Nami roaming is good. Yeah, this is really obnoxious. These plants it just never stop spawning. It's crazy. <laughs> like, I can't interact with her. I tried one time and I got screwed over by the Sona Slow and the rest is history. I can't walk up, th like, or at, you know, in the early game, at no point could I ever walk up and just trade an auto with her because I would just get hit by her Q, which would have been a bad trade. Q on the plants. <clears throat> Okay, we want to crash this now since I was roaming. Probably could have pinged that, but I was distracted ranting. Really. Leaving these minions on very awkward HPs. I haven't actually used my all game yet. Now's a good time though. Actually need to know where J4 is. Yeah, Lucian is bot. J4 is indeed bot side, so... I uh, would want to place a ward thing is if I ward right now, I might actually die to another uh, J4 gank. I would need to use another E before I can ward. So we're going to place a warden there instead. Maybe I can start moving towards the Hecarim here. Maybe we can back him up. Okay. Nice shook. But he got blocked. No, just run, man. God damn it. Okay, she's out of mana. This could be quite good. Oh, she stopped to hit the goddamn ward. Oh, god damn it. She didn't realize I was chasing her. <laughs> like, if I'm chasing her while she's stopping to hit the ward, it makes it easier for me to chase her. She just didn't realize. Uh, if we have somebody come after me, then I can survive the Lucian to enter lane, but... Uh, I'm being ignored by my support. It doesn't matter. This wave is dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, there he is wanting to force an all in on me. I very nearly got Static Shiv. I almost juked that. Oh, 
Oh, he's just dead. Nice. If he had flash, then that would have been all one for one, or I just would have died. I'm not sure, but I'm lucky. He didn't have flash. He might have TP though. Um, I'm like basically if he TPs in and forces me off the wave, my wave state is screwed. And if I don't shove this wave, then I'm screwed. So if I'm screwed either way, I'm gonna go for the option, which pos possibly might result in a positive outcome. If he doesn't have TP, if he doesn't have TP. Because I do need to unfortunately shove another wave here. And so long as I don't get ganked here, then this is good to shove. Okay, J4C is on low. He's going to start hitting bot. We're not going to finish shoving this out. Won't even go for that melee. I feel like this is just the perfect amount of CS to take without being too greedy, hopefully. I don't think he's coming after me still. Uh, he might have been. Might have been trying to dodge vision. Alright, next up we'll go for Berserkers. Definitely don't want to rush Berserkers though, even though I'm not running magical footwear. Because... Ooh, nice. We want to rush the Static Shift Power Spike. Uh, Kali might be able to zone me over from the turret, which would be really nice. She's really behind though, I don't think she can actually. And now she takes one turret shot, for what it's worth. Oh, come on. There we go, nice one. And she was worth a little bit of gold. Oh, crap. It's one of farm men. Whoa. Perfect, and I got uh, almost the entire way from that. <laughs> mm, I may just end up having to base here. Even though it's quote unquote just zone, if she has ult, she could actually potentially solo kill me, or at the very least set up something for J4. Yeah, I managed to get the plating though. That's pretty nice. Probably's going back bot. She might be able to pick up the turret this time. Well, Nami could defend it, just like Sona was defending this, but... <laughs> but she won't, okay. Damn, how many kills does Sona have now? Six. Oh, that's fine, this turret isn't going down. Thought I've ult this time to repeat the same play, though. Is she trying to zone me from the turret? She is indeed. Okay. That was a bit ambitious. Like I said, she is really behind. Even without my ult, I still win. I do... I did need my barrier, to be fair, but... Like, it's not reasonable to assume the enemy Ash has nothing fucking up. No, oh, I'm dead here, though. Like, you gotta be hell optimistic to try and dive someone and be like, Okay, if this guy has no ult, no barrier, no flash, no teammates around, then he's so dead. Just those four very basic requirements. It's not so likely. <clears throat> I am a war I have given oaths to few. I have anyway, my kills aren't doing too bad for how disastrously the lane started. Um, sure, I can go top, I suppose. Next objective that is up anyway is this, the Herald. So ideally, we—I mean, it doesn't really. I would, I, usually, this logic actually only matters if your support is actually laning with you, because you would like have your whole bot lane rotate to whichever lane is closest to the nearest objective. But I mean, if Nami's trolling anyway, <laughs> then it doesn't really matter where I go, because either way, we'd have the support on that side of the map. But yeah, for what it's worth, it would usually be nice to rotate me for that reason. Now the awkward thing is though, like now I'm. Stuck trying to farm here against the Kali, who's obviously trying to cheese me here. Or is she not? Yeah, there she is. Nice, got it all.
just slowly starting to lose HP. Eventually she could be at risk if she loses too much without managing to get any damage back. She with J4. Nice, juked it. That was pretty psycho. It was pretty obvious though, like the only place she has there if she's trying to gank me is to walk in a straight line, get in range to ult, and ult. So as soon as I feel like I'm actually in threat of being ulted, I just move to the left. No reaction, just pr pure prediction. Like, I think she's gonna ult, she ulted. So in Sona's place in that position, like, you just have to be more patient with the ult. Get in range to ult, and then just see how Ash plays it. How is she reacting? Is she starting to juke randomly? Or is she continuing to just walk in a straight line? She wasn't patient, and that's why she missed her ultimate. Do Ash, maybe you go mid? Sure, I don't care. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to listen everything here with my static shift. Yeah, I missed one. Yeah, if Sona did that gank with J4, I was probably screwed no matter what. Hmm. That vision of me. Oh, I wanted that plant to get there. Man, these plants are good at zoning. Ah, no, I'm at the head. I'm at the head, Lucian. She wait, what am I even losing HP? I didn't notice. No! Oh, that's so unlucky. Holy crap. Oh, Talia. She might eventually chase him down. She has the extra movement speed. Okay, nice. Not too bad. Oh, that sucked, though. Yeah, my bad. I didn't even notice I was sitting on his hour ult, though. To be fair, the damage was already done by the time it knocked up. The knockup didn't really matter all that much. <laughs> That's unlucky, though. <laughs> oh, but he just needed one more to die. Such an unlucky setup. Oh. Kali's stuck in a rough spot here. And now it's too late to use a re. Oh, nice. Alright, we push mid. The fight is over, pretty much. At least I'm not gonna reach whatever's left. Fuck, I missed the cannon because I started moving, which I probably shouldn't have done to begin with. Well, the build feels nice on the minions, at least. I definitely got minion DPS. Uh, might be able to do something here. Uh, not a chance. That guy is insanely tanky, by the way. What the hell? What is that? Tobby's and Warden's Mail. I know they buffed Tobby's. Did they buff Warden's Mail? I doubt it. Was I using Q? No, I wasn't. Because, dude, there's actually an interaction where Ash Q does even less damage than the regular autos onto Warden's Mail. So if I'm doing that little damage, even when not using Q, that is fucking scary. I think tank items must just be obscenely broken this patch. This is the second J4 that I look at and he just says armor components and he's just insanely tanky. Oh shit, they're doing Baron. Oh no, she fucked it up! She might have been able to kill him. Oh, that's so sad. He was CC'd. She just missed. Oh, I've already got Kraken as soon as I base. Man, I do zero damage against Baron minions, though. What a drastic change. 
<clears throat> okay, we can base for the Kraken Slayer. Hmm, so third item, the most common thing people do with this build is Terminus, which is an interesting angle. I could definitely do with some form of armor pen, so absolutely gonna try that out this game. Uh, wait, what's this build out of? Oh, Hearthbound Axe, okay. I'm used to the BF Sword and Double Reaker Bow, Will Puff. Look at my... I think my QLs do more damage, though, to plants. So that's nice. Still doesn't one-shot one -shot them, but... Oh no, it's the red buff. The red buff is applying extra damage per auto. Nice. <coughs> oh. Yeah, I'm about to misinterpret the derpings. She's really slow. This is an easy ult. I wouldn't have gone for it usually because there's just too much ground she can cover in the time it would take my ult to reach her, but cleared slowed her with something, so it was pretty easy. Oh, thank god he didn't have ult that was going to be dead because my flash was six seconds away from coming back up. Oh man, I probably should have turned out Delusion sooner. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh, no! That's sad. <laughs> Ace for Nami. The first kill of the game. Whoa. I'd like to actually test my damage onto a champion like Sona at some point. Cause I know how much damage I'm used to dealing with her onto her with a crit build. Would give me something to compare by. Pretty sure there was a TP there. Would have been Lucian. Looks like we're probably just gonna have to give up Drake. Was she even on my screen when she did that? I didn't see her. Feels a bit unfair if she was literally not on my screen and still did like 300 damage to me. Not worth. Almost cost me that. Holy shit, four, five plants. Oh, that should be good. Ninety-one damage per auto to J4. Ah, oh, goddammit. There, there is not a chance. I do way too little damage to J4, actually. We do a little bit of hitting and running. Looks like we probably just want to base here. But let's really hope Terminus can search my situation around. I just want to hit anybody but J4 because I know I'd, I've been dealing negative damage to J4 since like one item. I want to see like anybody else. Because if the tank items are busted and J4 is the only person building tank items, I feel like it's unfair to try and judge my items based on how dam how much damage they're dealing to the guy that doesn't take damage. Let's see how close they can get. 
think he just used the Z. Doesn't look like he's in a great position to ult though. Let's use that now. Ah, my bad. I didn't think she'd still go in. Now nah, we gotta leave that. Unless she forced the J4 ult. Eh, no, I don't think I, I think I just should not have ulted at all. Not that I ulted the wrong person, because either way, by the time I actually had a time to ult Lucian when I knew his he was on cooldown, like everybody was super far away from him, he was off screen. Old Sona was the one that seemed overextended, so I ulted her. But even, like, she, the thing is, I can't really ult Sona when Lucian is around, I just kind of have to settle for only ulting Lucian. Like, we ult Lucian or no one at all. And since I couldn't really ult him, I just shouldn't ult. And anyway, at least I've nearly got Terminus. See, this is pretty good. Hmm. Let me check actually what people usually do after this. Oh, Bloodthirster. Yeah, that's fine. We can sell the dagger later on. I do have a uh, bloodline, so I don't think Bloodthirster is super necessary. I was considering Bork as well, but I mean, it's not like J4 is actually like, like tanky in the sense that he has a lot of HP. I don't think Bork is going to do anything. If we want damage, I guess a ZL item would just make the most sense here. Dude, these plants are so obnoxious. Can't ult Lucian through the J4 right now, sadly. Okay, we got the J4 at least. Nice. What about her? She is way too healthy, so we can't defend that. Trick is up in 48. I need the base though and defend this. Kali maybe trolling though, considering that fight was happening right next to her and she didn't react. And I feel like I do actually do some damage to J4 now. Didn't feel too hopeless there. Nice. Oh, she's dead. Is the edge of that? Ooh, the very edge of that actually took her out of the turret range, but it doesn't matter. She didn't realize it in time. Oh yeah, I definitely feel the damage now. That's crazy how this one item spiked my build that hard. What if I just go for more on hit now though? I could also do Ginsu's if I really want damage, but I might not struggle. Yeah, I might not struggle with damage as much anymore. Maybe I will just go for the Bloodthirster. <coughs> uh, probably shouldn't be top lane actually, I just realized. Yeah, that trick is up. Should have been there, but... We're already top, so... Need to make sure that if something goes on bot side, I'm hopefully able to take advantage of it on top side. Like, I'm basically forced to split push here, forced to split push by my own already failed decision. Now I gotta commit to it, because I'm not gonna reach that Drake fight in time, or at least that's what I should assume. Uh, Akali should be alive though, God damn it, She'll probably just defend. Well, I can continue trying for now. Ah, there she is. Oh wow, that's soul for them, I didn't realize they had every soul. Every Drake, brother. can try and ult someone here. Ah, oh, god damn it. Yeah. That's why it's not an easy target to ult. Yeah, he used the ZQ. No! Don't push him out! Okay, I can focus Lucian, it's fine. As long as I have flash, I'm not too scared of the J4, but... It's gonna be done for the next five minutes. Oh, good. I 
Ooh, yeah, and of course, Terminus also gives me resistances, so the Bloodthirster adding me effective HP is also going to be really nice. Uh, I think we need the base here, though. I got my power spike, and in theory, if we run down here to be, uh, as two, we might just get 2v2'd by Akali Sona. Uh, what is the final item? Seems people usually just do a Zill item, so... Phantom Dance or Runans, either one I think is going to be fine here. I think uh, we've probably got enough attack speed as it is. We're probably already at the cap if we use Q, so we'll just go for Runans. AoE slow as AoE on hit. Not that we have much on hit, but it's something. I'm gonna stand back. Our team is not really in position to contest this wave, and I don't want to risk a throw right now. now. Isn't this crazy? Like, I don't know why I never find supports that were this annoying, but for some reason, just her being ADC has been incredibly obnoxious. Both in lane and even just now. I don't know if it's down to the rule. I mean, it's presumably just down to the player. The no reason why Cyrus support couldn't do this. Just with a little less gold. That's not bad. I'll life steal this up. If I actually have minions to hit. Um, I'm gonna watch out for the J4 ult though. It's absolutely crucial I don't get ulted by J4 right now. Nice. I can't, it's not even just enough to not be the target of Zolt, I need to not be near anybody else who heals either. Oh my god, his frozen heart. I have to try and kill Lucian here. Oh, thank god I barely got him. I think we just lose here though. Yeah, I, I went back to dealing zero damage to G4 again, what happened? Doesn't build any more resistances, resistances that I can see. I'm, d I'm literally dealing like a hundred damage per auto, and he's got three thousand HP, which would mean I take thirty-four autos to kill him. Yikes! One damage atom, two damage atoms, on his way to building a third damage atom, presumably, and one is just MR. Yeah, I don't know. Could be the build. Alright, GG. Holy shit, I'm getting massively collapsed on here. Huh. Oh, I keep canceling models. It doesn't matter, I'm dead either way. Oh, that's a pretty awkward start. How did we get outnumbered there when we invaded his five? The Roland eventually showed up, but uh, I thought I could just catch out the way there because I caught him with the slow. Uh, well, I guess I caught him with the slow and my entire team decided to loop around instead of actually chasing with me was the main problem there. I guess that's uh, partially on me for not noticing that, though. Anyway, uh, we're going to be doing another game. So that ga that build that we did in the previous game was the most common static shift build that is going to run in Challenger right now. Oh, I'm just really going to miss XP, aren't I? Uh, I only missed one minion. It could be worse. Jinx for what it's worth missed out on all three. Uh, so this game we're going to try out the most common Kraken Slayer build, and that's going to be basically Kraken Slayer transitioning into crit. Really? Oh, come on, they all focus this! Ugh. Yeah, Kraken Slayer trans, um, transitioning into crit. Third item, we can either do Infinity Edge, 
or we can do Bloodthirster depending on whether we feel like we need the damage or whether we can just chill and build some survivability. This game, I think there are certainly going to be less tanky. Also, there's something definitely wrong since I installed Mobilitics where I can't attack. Yeah, I can't attack move while I'm pressing tab. Pretty sure that's Mobilitics. That didn't used to be a problem. This might be pretty good, actually. I'm getting mini block the hell here, though. God, this actually would have been 100% the kill. Okay, it still is. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, that would have been a much smoother kill if I didn't keep getting minion blocked as I was trying to chase Ash. But we finally got the job done. I wondered if he might be setting up a gank. Doesn't re doesn't really matter though. Whether he was or wasn't, I didn't have time to crash that before Kane showed up. At least we uh, don't have to deal with the freeze there. Okay, we can just do double dagger actually. This might actually be the best base here. Yeah, the build path we're going to be using this particular game is going to be uh, Kraken Slayer into Phantom Dancer. It's going to give us a lot of DPS by giving us a lot of attack speed to get Kraken Slayer procs with. Uh, also, probably should give us more DPS by the two item point having a Phantom Dancer instead of a Static Shiv. Especially relative to the gold since it's also going to be like uh, 250 gold cheaper, I believe. And also allows us tra to transition into more crit, which late game is still going to be the highest possible DPS. But on Ash, who's not really focused on dealing that much damage, because you have so much utility, you can kind of get away with not maximizing your damage sometimes. We do have the option of Bloodthirster third, as I said. Careful. I don't think there was uh, much of an angle to go in there. Not when they have s had such a bigger wave. Oh, right, I have no idea. That was a close one. I'm about to keep misjudging where these melee cues are going to go. Getting hit by them way too much. I feel, like, I feel like if I hit that caster, I'm just barely not going to lust at it. There we go. That almost hit me as well. Did they make it easier to hit or am I just playing like a donkey right now? I don't know. Usually it's very easy not to get hit by melee cue. There's a possibility they're on the Drake. No, it seems like they're probably based on, so let's try and crash this. Could have used his second bomb as well, but... I'm gonna have to shove another wave. Can we see that Kane is mid at least? We know we're not being ganked by him. Thankfully this also isn't a cannon wave, so we should be able to push it. Oh, he might wiped it out, that sucks. Yeah, this time I don't care if I'm getting hit by Miluka, I need to lost it, and I don't care if I'm losing HP if I'm about the base anyway. Um... Can she really freeze this? We might just have to cancel base. Yeah, we do. Oh, lost vision exactly, but she- that was really bad traps. Ooh, the Miluka knockback. And she stole- ooh, almost dies. Okay, so I'm looking at the map. I still see the cane is mid. Holy crap, that range was huge.
Can we get ult now? Hmm. Does this W go through the minions? Yes, it does. Let's go. Oh, it, kill it got the kill the zillion, though. Oh, man. How did he kill him? Hang on. Dude. I nearly got W. No! I thought there was minions. To I don't know why I'm using barrier. I thought there was minions. What? Now there's minions under turret. What the hell? Where were they? Where were they when I needed them? Oh, man. That guy was so lucky to survive as long as he did, though. Uh, my replay app isn't working right now, so I'm just going to buy some items and then see if I can... See what happened there. Hmm. Yeah, they were just barely halted us out of turret range by that one melee. That really sucks. Not even like both melees, literally only one of them was preventing a melee from being on a turret. God damn. That's sad. Just barely close enough to bait me. So at the end of the day, I mean, I shouldn't have wasted barrier, but uh, one for one with Melio is obviously worth for the carry. That wasn't a disaster, at least. Ooh, this could be good. Dylan assault himself. Beautiful. But don't take the kill, man. <laughs> that sucks. That's, that sucks. And it's also sad. Those are the two things I got mixed up there. Uh, okay, I've actually already got the Kraken Slayer. I'm just gonna base here. It's a huge pro spike, and I don't even know if I can get that plating. I probably could, but I mean, I would be sacrificing a good base for it, so. No, we just base. <clears throat> cool, and now we're getting 13 movement speed from the Kraken Slayer. I believe that was, uh, it lost some movement speed in this patch, if I remember correctly. I think it lost 5 AD, 5% attack speed, and maybe 1 or 2% movement speed. This could be really good if I ult Jinx here. Ah, she backed off. Never mind. Don't know why she would back off there, though. She could have kept on dealing turret damage. I keep cancelling autos, I swear to god. Is it that I'm used to Alacrity or what? No, I meant to want the Jinx! Oh my god. Wait, I thought Melee was taking aggro though. No, it must have been Jinx taking aggro and then I failed to stun her. So she just walked out. Fuck, that sucks. The main thing is I should have dodged the Jinx. W, but fuck, dude. I just nearly had her. Oh, I've got a dagger I can build. Okay, there's going to be Shadow Assassin, so probably looking like a Bloodthirst or Third Angle. I feel like survivability is definitely going to be more important than damage here. I hope I don't get immediately ganked by him while I'm pushing here. Just going to chill for now, wait for Zillian to get back into lane. Yeah, we have Zillian. I keep forgetting to use Ashi, isn't that an unreal? 
Let's try and get an idea of where the cane is. Oh, exactly, but... All I can say is Ashi must be the most overrated ability of all time, because I hit Master with her in Season 11, with like a 70% win rate. Literally just spamming her every game. And I was not any better about using my E than I am now. <laughs> you can get very far without using Ashi. Surprisingly far. Uh, that kind of looks like it sucks. But I can maybe Clash at uh, Jinx though. Oh, I just barely... Oh, she's sticking around for some reason. No, the way! Fuck! Oh, and I didn't have barrier and she did. Fuck, I thought we both had barrier. My bad. Damn, if I just sunk the past those traps though, it probably would have been a lot better. Just give me whatever is useful, please play for the game's own solo ult. I don't think there was anything to be done in that play, though. I think we'd already lost that part of the fight, so I was trying to get something aside from that. Like, if I look at that, Yi is just doomed to die. That's just how it is. Actually, I could have done another dagger. I don't know why I didn't. only need two for Berserkers, but the next one could have built into Zeal. Yeah, I'm, I don't know what it is. I'm just not used to this attack speed. I keep cancelling so many autos that I shouldn't. I need to try Alacrity next time. Storm might go down even if I defend, but... Not if Melia leaves, though. And the Jinx is losing a lot of HP to my W. Uh, he is kind of tr stuck between a rock and a hard place there, I think. Uh, nothing for me to do there, buddy. Zilli knows it, too. I think they're going to be doing Drake here, right? Oh, no, they're not. What the hell? I think this is a death and angle. My entire team is being very annoying in chat. Might be a melee flank. No, he should have tried though. Yeah, there is these guys. I like I just hear the chat sound non-stop, and there's no fucking way I'm gonna read all that. Ah, I kind of fucked that up. My bad. Might still be a good fight though. Zillin is way too far back though. Ah, there's not a chance. We're too behind, I guess. Well, it was also kind of a one v two. Oh, what? Oh, I got called by Milio Q, I assume. Didn't even see it. I was focused on Kane. Ah, oh, that fucking blows, though. Oh, hey, we got the Jinx! That's funny, I did not expect that. Yeah, I don't think like I had a massive item disadvantage or anything, and I should win that 1v1. It's just that Zillin was all the way far back, so he couldn't use Qs, and... Milio, even if he wasn't hitting me there, which, I mean, he might have been, I, I don't fucking know. But even if he theoretically did nothing, his uh, Jinx still wins because of the Milio W and Shields. So my Zillin was just way out of position there, and I should have backed off because of that. Hmm? Wait, no, there wasn't a melee queue. What the hell did I die to? Oh, his Eerie. Okay, his passive somehow procked on me. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of fucked up. I don't think I would have lived anyway, but I, I, I could have tried to outplay the cane. That's sad being robbed of that opportunity. Man, Shadow Assassin Kane is so insanely annoying. Still have a chance to beat Jinx if um, she has no mini wave at least. The problem is she has better wave clear than me. But the way this works is, so minigun versus my autos, she probably wins, but I can kite her minigun, which means she would have to fight me with rockets. 
And with Rocket, she loses because she doesn't have enough DPS to beat me. Even though she has a slight item advantage. But the minions would make up for her having to use rockets, so... Uh, she has currently rotated for absolutely no reason. Like, she shouldn't just be giving this up, so we're gonna push. I might add a cane, though, because he's just very strong. Makes the game complicated for me, though, but we'll see. Okay, we see Kane. He is indeed coming bot, but he's a bit late. That or he's going for the Drake, one or the other. Yeah, we get a free wave. Oh, hello. Ah, I missed. I got barrier. Oh my god, I fucked it up. My bad. Dude, I even missed the ult. Holy shit, I'm so bad. You're kidding me. Holy I misplayed that so hard. I can't believe it. That should have been a shutdown for me. Oh, man. Unreal. I even barrier too late. Like, I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I just barely managed to survive him without using barrier. Can't believe how bad I played that. <clears throat> I mean, not much use on this HP, so we'll get out. Ooh. Oh, the Cytrox is quite strong, actually. He might keep on pushing because he knows his laner is, uh... Bot lane, so... Oh, is he going for the Golems? No, no, no. He's, he's gonna come for this wave, surely. Come on. Please, it's worth giving us some farm, because if I can kill him, that is a huge amount of gold, but I feel like he's just recalling. Ah, very unfortunate. Oh well. Mm, I'm not really sure I can get away with pushing another wave. Oh, no, okay, we see our trucks. They're grouped as five, but... My team should be able to defend this just by wave clearing. So the enemies are just way overcommitted onto bot lane right now. My team just has to play it safe. He is almost dead. Oh, but he got a kill. Or they got a kill. He's definitely not playing it safe, though. Yeah, I gotta say, I'm not sure that was a good long-term plan, playing aggressively 3v5. I did say they just needed to wave clear. Um, There's not a chance I continue pushing and get the inhib turret, I think. Even the king could just run at me across the map and kill me, so... We'll get out. I think she survives that. Ooh, there, there was a lot of damage that I didn't account for there, added, though. Oh, crap. I need to flash that. Fucking Aatrox from the side. I'm just not really able to defend this, am I? Wait, what? What did I just walk into? Okay, I just wasted my barrier. What did I get CC'd by? Oh, it must have been Hui's root. I don't know why, but I didn't see it at all. Wait, what? Dude, I was buying! What? Why did it make- What? Did it just crash into the Nexus? Dude, I'm so confused. What the fuck happened there? Dude, that's so- d <laughs> Everything about that was dumb. <laughs> What? I was just buying my items and it put me in the Herald. And then the, suddenly the Herald it bounced onto the side of the Nexus when it was like here. <laughs> Holy crap. There will be ah, she looks very dead.
Mm, Kane is too close. Can't farm here. Cleared a ward, but he could still sprint in a straight line towards mid and kill me, so we just can't farm here. We either wait for somebody to push out mid, or we go bot instead. This guy has pushed out mid, so we can farm that. Now we have the option of trying to rotate top as well. Oh man. It's not impossible that I kill him though. I'm just gonna try it. Ooh! No, I lost vision! Please! No! I should have blue chinked it, my bad. I got baited by the vision of my ult. Dude, exactly as I'm in auto range, I just lose vision. That guy had uh, recover already recovered an absurd amount of HP that I think uh, Melio must have used heal on him. That or maybe a support items gave him a heal. Just by shielding him. Like, even if I did have vision, I'm not 100% sure I would have killed it in hindsight, looking at how healthy he was. Okay, this sucks. Yeah, we're not killing him there. That was a huge waste of ignite. Ooh! But Vexmite, did that land? Shit, it didn't. That's crazy. Dude, this is not our game. So many unlucky stuff happens. Wait, I meant to use W. It wasn't up. I was thinking Kane might be there trying to kill me, but no, it's why. Mm, I think we're gonna need anti heal actually over Bloodthirster. Well, let's just go straight for that. It's Mr. CC, right? Okay, huge. Big shutdown, too. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, I hate fucking blue cane, man. Well, I didn't find that it lacked damage this game, at least, but they also didn't really have anything like the J4. Hard to really compare the builds across games. But, uh, yeah, those are the two most common Ash builds right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to see more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.